Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feeling of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally, which is pretty tough sometimes. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 110, NASDAQ down 134, S&P's off 12 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $23.10, trading at 1958 an ounce. We have silver down 10 cents, $23.56 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 71 cents, $72.45 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down 18 ticks, trading 113.07. The 30 year full point plus 12 ticks at 126.17 and King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 39 ticks, made its way back, rejected lower price. We're at 104.086. The euro is at 107. The yen's at 140, and the British pound is at 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Well, we'll get over to the S&P. First, we'll look at the SPY. Whoops, there we go. Okay, so high to low out in the SPY out here today. We had a high of 429, a low of 426. We're at 426 right now. So we didn't take out the high. You had light volume. This is still a sideways move. Intraday. Now, we take a look at this intraday. What you're going to see, we had a little volatility intraday, which is pretty sweet. Intraday we had out here. Bottom line, we got up to, let's see, did it hit the? We hit 43.04. Yeah, check this out. This is amazing, actually. So the high on Monday was 43.05. We hit 43.04.75, and they sold it off. That being said, let's just take a look at you don't have a high volume low here. See, that's, that's, so that's saying, okay, the bottom line, you know, yeah, this will bounce around a little, but you don't have a lot of selling down here. Now, NDX 100 is a different ballgame. We take a look at the Qs. What you have with the Qs, you have two different things going on with the Qs. We were talking about the aspect that these price spreads were getting so small, which they were, and the volume was contracting. Now you get an expansion of volume, 51 million. That being said, however, you're still going into 72. Now, it's possible we do that 72. We'll see how that shakes out. With us, we had made a high with 47. You can see what's happening there. So that's pulling back, and it has volume in the pullback. We go intraday and take a look at the NQs. We pull this up. Now, this does have a high volume low at uh, 14,339. So uh, that's the low. So this low is going to get tested, man. You got, that's uh, how many contracts we got there? We got 35, uh, 15,000 contracts, 15,890 uh, contracts. So that wants to get tested. We'll see what's going to, we'll, you know, break that apart, but that's going to get tested. We go into the note and bond market, folks. Note and bond market out here. You had the 10 year note. Trade down to 113.01. Right now you're trading 113.08. And you're, you're trading into, I believe it's Monday. Let me see if it's Monday. No, no, it's last week. And you are trading into that with lighter volume. We, tra we, we have 1.3 million contracts trading into 2 million contracts. The low there was 112.29. We hit 113. So my take is that we're still going higher price, lower yield. Let's go look at the 30-year, though. 30-year 30 30 always moves a lot more than the 10. There's no doubt about that. That's just how it goes. Let me see if I got this right. A, there we go. We take a look at the 30-year. 30 30-year 30 has 258,000 contracts. This is going to be going into a monster number, though. I can just tell by looking at it, yeah. And you're going to 404. So bottom line, now the 30-year hasn't rejected lower price yet, but bottom line, that's lower price, lighter volume, and the 10 has rejected price, lower price, the 30 hasn't done it yet. 
and King Dollar. If we look, if we look at King Dollar, if you see when this turn was happening in the marketplace, what you did have is that we had the King Dollar trading down at the 103,661. That baby turned. When that baby started turning, which was like 10 o'clock this morning, you know, market bottom line didn't like it. Um, right now, we had the low of 103,661, and we're at 104,095. We go to the gold contract. Gold contract. You know, this is this is now this is really intriguing because, and this was a heads up this morning, folks. When the dollar was down about 600, I think 500 ticks. Okay, the gold contract wasn't moving. That was a heads up. The gold contract, I, I believe, was up three dollars. Okay, that's a heads up. This is building cause. My take for lower price. We have a confirmed ABC structure down to the. 1902 level. I suspect that's where it's going. Let's see what we're going against right now. So we've done 180,000 contracts here. They're going against, well, it's going to have to do a lot more than that because we're going against 264. That last low is 264. Now, it would be cool as if it would go hit that number, but it's not going to hit that number right now. That number's another $9 lower. Um, you know, so it's always dangerous then. It closes, it lows, then it opens up. It's easy to get out $10 in the gold market, that's for sure. But that's the way that that hey, baby is set up. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. We have, uh, let's go, well, actually, let's go into the NDX 100 first, because that's the one that stock getting hit this morning. And as usual, where the NDX goes, the market goes. You had um, winners out here. We have, you had uh, Warner Brothers was up 8.5%. Microchip Technologies up 4.5%. Sirius Satellite up 3 Taken away from it, Datadog was down 7.5%. Lucent Car Company was down 6.5%. Um, Zscaler was off 5.5%. Uh, and Tuit was off 5.1%. So let's go see MVOLNE. What do we got here? Volume wise. You're at 528 on the NYSE right now. And if we take a look at the composite, you're at 4.1. The composite's going to do some volume. We're at 4.1 right now. Composite's going to do over 5 billion. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 151. NASDAQ's up 100. S&P's are down 15. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>